in your rig so that we can make fun of you for them. Uh, starting with Peter. Peter has, uh, let's see, let's see what his system looks like. Okay, he's got a, oh, is that like a desk PC? I just realized that he has a full-blown PC built into his desk. <laughs> so you, clearly you look very closely at these pictures before you pick them for... Well, I mean, I I only looked at one or two, and... I, Wait, that. what? It's got 200 millimeter intake fans. That's pretty crazy. So it's like a desk he built, and then he took what would have been a shelf and yeah. built a PC there. Does it have... That's pretty cool. Does it... Did he... All right, so then that, I guess he transferred... This must be the before, I'm yeah, guessing, right? right? He transferred the right. system out of here, and then uh, the past here. That Should this... Pretty cool. All right. Look at all that. I dig it. I wonder, I want to see what the bottom of the desk looks like, like what he did for ventilation and stuff. Last, what I'm curious about here is, is did he take the side panel from the, that case or whatever and put it here, or is this just open? Either way is fine. I'm just kind of uh, curious if, that, if, if it does have a side panel. I, I think it would look really clean with a side panel. Yeah, it looks it looks kind of open to me, but it could just be because of the lights inside no, and stuff. No, wait, oh yeah, I thought I saw the Cooler Master logo, but that's on the, the radiator. Yeah, it's the, on the red. Yeah, probably not then. But um, let's see, really nice good like good matching and stuff everything's black and white or i'm sorry black and red uh looks really clean and the goal is gonna be to put all of this computer stuff in this shelving right here so um i made this desk and i'm gonna try and make this into a desk pc but a different kind so the goal is i'm gonna get a piece of glass for right here and then back here i'm gonna i got a piece of plywood that i'm gonna cut the io out of I'm probably gonna mount my 360 radiator right here. Um, right here is gonna have my two 200 millimeter fans for intake, and then the radiator is gonna be set up for exhaust as well as, well as a 140 millimeter exhaust. So this speaker is gonna go, and the motherboard is gonna be mounted right back here. This is what I'm gonna try and do it with. So I just got this Dremel. Um, piece of plywood, so I'm gonna stencil it all out, cut it out. Also have polyurethane and stain to match the current stain in my desk, brushes. Um, these are the nuts that I'm gonna be trying to use for the standoffs. Um, hopefully these are the right ones. I kind of just went by looking at it, but I'm gonna do the Paul's hardware style and drill it, hammer it in, and hopefully that will be good. Like all exploded, so this is the Bear Cooler Master H500M. Basically, everything removed. Got my front panel IO that I'm gonna be hooking back up right here. Here's the main components, though. So, this is my 2080 non TI motherboard, it has a i7 9700K, and my Cooler Master 360. Oh, yeah radiator okay this is somewhat what i'm going for here the motherboard in the back i think i'm gonna put the radiator somewhere on the left side there
Okay, so dots are plotted now. Had a little issue with the ones in the middle top right here by the CPU and the, the middle middle one right there. Uh, probably because of that back bracket sticking out so much so I couldn't actually get the pen through it. So I ended up using the tip that was coming out of the dry erase marker. Um, but it was a good thing that it kind of messed up because I didn't think about it and the way the the plywood's gonna be going right up against the edge here, kind of in this crevice. So now I'm just gonna drill a hole um, small enough to be able to hammer through the nut and the standoff does thread through it, so we should be good on that. All right, so this is the drill bit I'm gonna end up using. Um, this is the, also the nut and on the inside, it's the same threading as the standoff for the motherboard. So it's just a little bit smaller, which will be perfect. So I'll be able to hammer in the rest. Had to step up the bit size, but that is pretty good. That will hold the stand off very well. So one down, eight to go. Okay, I got all the standoffs in. They're all pretty sturdy. Uh, only issue was this one because of the knot there. Uh, it didn't drill nicely, so I had to glue it in. But they're all strong now, and I'm not worried about uh, them not being tight enough because it's just kind of holding the motherboard from tipping over because it's going to be resting on the bottom of the shelf here. Uh, so not much strength is going to be needed. Alrighty, I have the motherboard standoffs in. Um, the one issue is this one doesn't line up for some reason. Um, it's a little above and a little to the left of some of the other ones. On others, like you can see this one right here, I was able to get it in. I just had to do it at an angle. Um, but the motherboard is pretty sturdy in there. So I have this piece right here cut out just about i got to do some final trimming um, i'm gonna have to cut out uh, inserts for the io shield and the radiator but i'm gonna make it sit in a little bit so it fits in that groove right there all right i'm kind of mocking up what i'm gonna try and do here i think this is gonna be a good place it's a little tight but it can definitely work. Another option I was thinking of, something like that. I'll have to cut out the shelf quite a bit, but that might be good too. I don't know, I'm conflicted. We'll see which one I end up going with. All right, I got the three squares I'm be cutting out for the fan holes plotted out. <laughs> these holes cut out now basically I took a coping saw and attached the saw blade as I put it in a hole after I had drilled it out this is what it's looking like right now so this is gonna be the vents for the fan a little sad that this is gonna be so blocked off but there's a support running underneath here and I don't want to take that out same thing over here um, I kept that intact because of this support here and then this block here which was attaching the top to the side and this is going to be where the radiator goes i still think it'll be plenty of cooling this is a 360 radiator and i don't have it overclocked too hot so should be good to go i'm just going to clean this up now and i'll get back to you okay i decided i'm gonna 
drill some holes. So I made a grid pattern and I'm gonna drill holes so there's a little bit of air coming through that far left side without weakening the structure too much. Um, I cleaned these up a little bit more. I don't think I'm gonna do too much. It's just taking a really long time. and It's gonna get covered up anyways by the radiator. So I'll drill those out and then I'll probably start setting stuff up. All right, so next day, just finished getting one hole cut out. It took a long time. Um, this is a lot harder than I had imagined, especially with the tools and where I'm at. I don't actually have a shop or anything like that. That's why I'm just in my apartment. But I'm trying to make it work and we'll see how it goes. Okay, second hole is done. You can see that the shelving here um, doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the fan. Still think that's fine uh, the way the other case was set up. The power supply kind of took off, uh, the power supply basement that is kind of took off the bottom room. Um, obviously this desk wasn't designed with building a computer in mind. It's kind of just an afterthought I had. I, I made this desk about a year ago. Um, so this is kind of like an add on to it. If I were to redo and remake a desk, I would uh, obviously do it differently to accommodate a computer better. But um, this is going all right so far and no turning back at this point. So this is the power supply housing that I came up with. This is a window screen right here for dust filtration. It's basically just, you know, three pieces of wood here screwed together. And then got this one cut out. I'm going to screw this in. Basically, I'm just going to drill into the desk from here and mount it that way. And then I'll be able to slide this in, take out these screws and screw them right into the three quarter wrench uh, piece of wood. Okay, this is how I'm going so far. Power supply is mounted. It's actually really sturdy. Um, next thing, this is the back plate. Got a fan mounted in the IO shield and I'm gonna start trying to put some hardware in here now. system basically mocked up not really 100% happy with how that back IO cutout came out but uh, that's how it's gonna be for now uh, I just want to get this computer back together so basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get the CPU the cooler mounted uh, try and get stuff wired up uh, then I'm gonna have to put the piece of glass on have that screwed in I have some tabs for that and then mount the fans uh, I'm gonna have to go through the fan holes to be able to screw that in. So I'm gonna start getting going. All right, it's now been two weeks since I finished this build. Uh, it's not in any sense done, but I was tired of not having my computer and I was trying to get it done as much as possible, as well as a giant mess that I've made uh, temperatures are good. It's holding up very well. A uh, couple things I want to change, obviously. Uh, I got to do something with the, the fans in the front here. So far with the front panel though, I have not had any fingers accidentally get caught or cats jumping into it or anything. So not the biggest issue. It's also a big fan, so it's a lower spinning RPM. Um, so it's really not going to cause much damage if something does get caught in it. But I did have a couple ideas for the front fans. Uh, I can use the mesh panel from my uh, Cooler Master case and attach that. Or I was thinking of um, putting a glass uh, 
out a little bit more so it still has enough airflow. The only issue is I need to get a glass bit for that um, to be able to attach it to the desk. Um, but that might come at a future date. Uh, another thing I need to do is mount my front panel connector because having it hang like this uh, is not ideal so i gotta make a mounting solution at some point in time too i would like to push the sidewall further back to give me more room either that or get a smaller radiator because i just really don't like uh the jankiness of it sticking out the way it is um even though i i have never hit it and it's not really been an issue it just doesn't look good um another thing is i still would like to sand better i did rush that part quite a bit uh, I'll probably get a better sander than just the Dremel one. That's the only one I had um, at the time of making this. Also, if you like the music that was in this video, be sure to check out Produced by Mitt, leaving his channel on screen right now. Uh, and it's also in the description of this video. A uh, really good, talented person, uh, awesome instrumentals. Uh, anyways, if you made it this far, Thanks for watching this journey of me trying to make this. I, I know it's far from a professional job, but I am I'm happy with it. It's been very nice and practical though, having my entire desktop basically cleared off besides you know the monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Not having the tower PC has been very convenient. Um, it takes up half my desk basically when it was on there. So it's, it's just nice having it nice down low like that. Anyways, if you made it this far, uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe, whatever you gotta do. Uh, if you didn't like it, leave a dislike, tell me why you didn't like it. But uh, anyways, I'll see you in the next one.